Hello. In this video, I'm going to work through three examples of integration using substitution techniques. Our first example is the integral of sine root x divided by root x dx. In this in particular integral, it's the root x that we notice is uh, not going to make it straightforward to integrate. So we let u equal root x, then du is equal to 1 over 2 root x dx. And so we can move the 2 over and we get 2 du is 1 over root x dx and that will look after the 1 over root x dx in our integrand. So when we do the substitution we get sine root x is sine u and dx over root x is 2 du and this is what the integral turns into. And so we simply get minus 2 the integral of sine u is minus cos, so we get minus 2 cos u plus a constant, and we back substitute u equals root x, so we get minus 2 cos root x plus a constant. So that's a simple uh, substitution of root x, and that will simplify things as long as you have a root x down in the denominator. Our second example is the integral of cos cubed x times sine x dx. Now here the substitution that works is to let u equal cos x because then du is minus sine x dx and we have a sine x dx sitting in our integrand. So then the integral of cos cubed x sine x dx is minus, from that minus sign, u cubed, because it's cos to the third power, and the sine x dx gives us the minus du over here. So we're just integrating this algebraic function u cubed du, and so we get minus one quarter u to the fourth, plus a constant, and so if we substitute back for what u is, we get minus one quarter cos to the fourth power x plus a constant. And something like that will work whenever we have a power of cos with one sine sitting beside it, or a power of sine with one cos sitting beside it. If we have a an algebraic function of a trig function and we can eliminate, we have its derivative sitting in the integrand as well, a substitution like this will eliminate the trigonometry from it and make it into an algebraic integral. Our third example is the integral from 3 to 7 of e to the x squared x dx. This integral is different because it is a definite integral. And this is just a fancy way to write some specific number. And at the end of the problem, we have to come back to one specific number. So here we can let u equal x squared. And that will make the e to the x squared into e to the u. So it'll be a simple exponential function. And du will then be 2x dx, and we have the x dx there, so this whole integral is going to simplify into something we know how to do. Before we go ahead with that, though, we have to attend to these limits of the on the integral, the 3 and the 7. Because u is x squared, u will be 9 when x is 3, and u will be 49 when x is 7. So when we do the substitution, we're starting with the integral of from 3 to 7 of e to the x squared x dx. And that is the integral from 9 to 49 of e to the u 1 half du. 
So the integral of e to the u du is just e to the u, so we get 1 half e to the u, and we're going to be evaluating that antiderivative at 49 and subtracting the value at 9. And that's what we get. We factored out a half because uh, that's common to both terms, and we get 1 half e to the 49 minus e to the 9. And if you use your calculator, you can calculate that that is 9.537 times 10 to the 20th approximately. So it's a very big number. There are at least two other ways to do that integral. We could back substitute from u to x by replacing the u's with x squared and then use the original limits on the integral 3 and 7. So we don't have to translate these as long as we back substitute to the original variable x. <coughs> Another way to do this whole integral is to simply declare in your answer I'm going to do the indefinite integral first and then evaluate the definite integral. And then you can drop the limits on the integral, simply evaluate the antiderivative, and then use whatever antiderivative you come up with to evaluate the definite integral. These different ways of formulating the question will lead to the same number at the end, and one method may be clearer to you than another, and you should make sure you practice that one.